Hi, and welcome to June 2021 market update for the East End of Toronto. We're talking about EO1, 2, and 3, which is East York, Leslieville, Riverdale, v beaches, upper beaches, that sort of area. We've got a map right here. Uh, you can check it out and see where the areas that we we're talking about. As always, if you are interested um, in knowing the details about your area and it's outside of this, um, or if you want to niche down and really know what's happening in your neighborhood, you can always send us an email and ask us specifically. I'm always happy to talk about what's happening in very specific markets. And I think it's an important thing to ask if you're interested in how your house would perform on the market. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, the average sale price uh, for homes here in the East End. We're going to be talking about um, the uh, list to sale ratio price and we're going to be also talking um, about um, number of sales to new uh, listing ratios. Let's talk first about average sale price. So when you take a look at this slide here, there are some pretty scary numbers in here, especially if you're looking at detached homes and see that the prices are way up. Now the thing here is that this is the median price. This is the average sale price. There are houses that are selling under a million here in East York. Um, there's plenty of them uh, to choose from, but there are also lots of high-end homes as well. So don't let these average numbers scare you. Don't think that the, you know, that the housing price is completely out of control, although they are aggressive. Uh, we got detached homes that are selling for, you know, just over one seven. Um, Semi-detached is obviously a little bit less at one, just over one three, and then townhouses at just over one, you know, one two five sort of a range. Um, so as you would expect, as you go into um, the more expensive homes, the detached homes, the prices go up. All right, um, the average sale price here in Toronto, you can see, or so the average sale price to the listing ratio. A lot of people can see what happens um, when houses get listed is they get listed low and they hold back offers and then they'll sell a couple of uh, maybe a week later. Uh, and it's specifically what we're seeing in the detached home space is that that list to sale delta, that difference between the list price and the sale price is shrinking. That at one point we're up like 125 to 130% and that number is getting much smaller, which means that that housing market is becoming a little bit more balanced. It's not as much of a seller's market as it was even just a couple of months ago. Um, but when you start looking at semi-detached or townhouses, you can see that, that that delta, that ratio between the two is bigger. That means that there are more buyers in that space. Mostly, I'm assuming, is because that it's a cheaper asset. There are more people that are able to play in that space. And so we're having a lot more people that are coming to the plate on offer nights and driving the price higher. Um, and you can see semi-detached, 117%. Uh, and um, uh, townhouses are you know, very similar, 116% of ask price. Uh, the last thing that we want to just talk about is the number of um, sales to new listing ratio. So this is for the month uh, of June we saw that 63% uh, of the houses that were on the market um, sold in that particular month, which is a relatively low number. And this is, we've been seeing this even with our own listings that they've been um, you know, not selling on offer night or selling a day or two after offer night, um, particularly in the detached. When we start getting into the semi-detached and townhouses, those ones are selling a little bit faster because there are, like I said, more buyers out there in that particular price point and in that space looking for those houses. So what we've seen is a little bit of a softening of the market over the course of June. Um, this has been caused by a bunch of different things. For sure, the stress test, I think, had something to do with it, but how the media interpreted that stress test definitely had an impact on how the buyers were behaving. But I think more importantly, um, when June hit, we got some really nice weather that came, the patios opened up, we started moving into whatever phase one or two or whatever the reopening plan here is for Ontario. And a lot of buyers um, <laughs> quite simply had better things to do than go out and look at houses and buy houses. They have taken a little bit of a step back. Their expectations have gotten lower, but the seller expectations have remained 
quite high. I mean, why would they take less for their house now than they would have maybe 30 days ago? So to recap, seeing a little bit of a softening of the market in the, in the detached, um, the semi-detached and the townhouses are still selling reasonably well, but still same thing, just a little bit of a softening. And we're starting to see a balancing of uh, the Toronto market here in the East End. I'll invite you again, if you have any questions about your house, what's happening in the East End, what's happening in your particular neighborhood, happy to have that conversation with you. We've got a bunch of links below that talk, uh, that have our uh, guides and checklists. So if you're interested in taking some more, uh, looking at some more detail around how we uh, work with buyers and sellers, all that's below. Hope you have a great weekend. <laughs>